so I thought I'd put this one on video. This may be of no interest to many, but to some, especially newbies, they may wish to know how to change their cleats and make sure you get them in the same spot each time. So as you can see, mine are rat pooed. And the reason why I've gone to change them today is I went to clip in, luckily only at the end of my ride, I mean, I'm coming back having a coffee, uh, so it was only the last kilometre, but the left boot would not clip in, and as you can see, there's actually hardly any cleat left. So, the tools you will need. Your new cleats, depending on which colour you go, I go blue, you can go yellow or red, just gives you a little bit more movement with the yellow, less with the blue, and zero with the red. And you're going to need an Allen key to undo them, and a bit of lube to stick on the um, uh, bolts as you're locking them back in. And some handy wipes, just in case. So anyway, let's uh, have a go. Let's crack these ones off. Now, if I've done this right, Last time I did them, I put a bit of lube in there, so these should undo. Look, nice and easy. All right, now firstly, I should mention, you also need a pencil. Mark around, I've already done this by the way, mark around where you, where your existing cleats are. Okay, and then that way you will not lose track of where the new ones have to go on. Right, actually you're going to be guessing and messing around. Okay, so just mark on there with a pencil or an indelible pen, whatever you like, and then undo them. So we'll do this one first. Let's get this undone. So I went out for a solo ride today. See, mine all undo nice and easy because I am. Um, Put a little bit of lube on the start on the start of the bolt before I put them back in. All right, so all these are scrapped. You get new ones with them. So just ditch all of these. So I went out for a solo ride today. Just did 50 k's and um, nice and steady. So as you can see now, you see where I've drawn on with the pencil, and there, the new one will literally just sit straight over that. So grab your new one, doesn't matter which way around they go, left or right, I don't think, or I've never paid any attention in the past. Get your new clamps, so ditch all the old stuff. I'm going to lock these things inside down tight, aren't I? Just pour them out on the floor. You're going to need all of them anyway. Don't throw your old ones away until you've well and truly done the job. So you grab one, and you obviously see where it's going to go, which for me is right about there and that way I can start to get these ones screwed in so I'll we'll just grab these get your little bit of lube and look you can to make it easier why don't we just put it on here just put a little bit in there just still on the start of the thread and then it'll work its way in as you screw it down. And now it won't make them loose, for God's sake. It'll be fine. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Grab all these little bits here, look. These are the clamps. Slot them in. And get a couple locks in there. And grab a couple of these little doobly firkins. And just screw them in. Get them started. And you can get them into the right position 
once you've done it. It's as simple as this. It's not rocket science. It takes about 10 minutes to do it. And then you're in business. So now you get you in place. Just make sure they're where you want them. Well, I've marked these so I know exactly where they go anyway. So there's mine there. That's where I want it there. And that'll do nicely gungered in. So just get them and nip them up one at a time. Not just a few turns at a time on each one. Right. Just till it goes tight and then onto the next one. And that way you'll you won't twist them out of place. Just keep checking that it's all in the right spot still. It saves you going down to the bike shop, doesn't it? And messing around. And as these are screwing in, it's picking up that little bit of lube and just making it so that when you need to take them off again, it won't they won't be rusted on. Because if they're rusted on, that's your shoe wrecked. Don't need to be mega tight, but they do need to be tight enough so they're not going to move. But just do them a bit at a time until they go tight on each one until you can't do them anymore. And then that is pretty much it done. I'll show you something you can use. Now look, these cleats I've had, I mean look at the state of God's sake, I've had these on for two years and they're completely and utterly gone. They're history. They have had it. Um, I have got a set of cleat protectors which I'll show you now. Echo Beach. Here we go. Oh, these are cleat protectors and they do really work. They work well. And all they do is when you get off your bike and have your coffee or you've got to walk anyway, you just stick that over there and push it on and it protects your cleat. So you can get these. They're light, just a big chunk of rubber basically. Um, I, did, I stopped using them um, for a while. Um, but now I think I'll take them out with me again because they are handy and um, they do prevent the cleats from becoming wrecked. As I say, these ones here, they've lasted me, they've been on for about two years. But I'd say with the uh, protectors, if you're using them a lot, you're probably going to double that for a set of cleats. So it's probably worth using them. Anyway, that is it. Um, just sort of put that little video on there because some of you don't know how to change your cleats but now you do. If you've got any questions or comments post them down below. <laughs>